Hi, boys and girls, and welcome back to Mr. Grable and our grade 3 ELA class, where we read from collections, super senses. Maybe you'll see some of the things in the background there that might get your senses going. This one's called, What a Feeling! Ooh, feeling, you know, soft skin, kind of crunchy hair up there, hard glasses. Hmm, be soft, soft vest, hard head, hard. What a feeling. Ooh, look at those pictures. Oh, I used your sense of sight. See those cool things there? What a feeling. That's a tube and an Ooh, look at that thing. And a Luna moth. Ooh, look at those captions. Wow. What a feeling! By Kendra Toby. All animals have a sense of touch. But many animals have developed special feelers that grow out of their bodies. These feelers come in all shapes and sizes. Sea animals have pretty but deadly tentacles. Luna moths have feathery antennae. Read on to learn more about these and other fantastic feelers. Ooh, feelers. Touchy tentacles. What's this huge hairy mess floating in the open ocean? Is it a creature from outer space? Uh, I don't think so. Got captions. <gasps> the lion's mane and a spotted animal. A lion's mane, that's a cool name. No, it's a lion's mane, the world's largest jellyfish. Its slithery, slimy body can be as big as a trampoline. Oh, that's big. But even at that size, there's not much to it. Just a mouth and a stomach. Lion's mane jellyfish have more than 150 tentacles to see and capture their prey. That's a lot. The tentacles usually do nothing but hang in the water, waiting for supper. Each one can be as long as a telephone pole. That's, that's higher than the school. When an unlucky fish, shrimp, or crab touches a tentacle, zap! That's it. Mm -mm -mm. Good food for the lion's mean. Small capsules called Nema cysts located all over the jellyfish tentacles shoot out tiny darts called barbs that hook into the prey. The barbs contain powerful poison that paralyzes the unlucky target. When the lion's mane slowly pulls the prey into its mouth with its long tentacles, Oh, then, sorry, you know. All jellyfish have tentacles and barbs, but none are as poisonous as the lion's mane. Oh, there it is, the lion's mane right there. Sea anemones use tentacles and barbs to feel around and capture food. And there it is. They don't sound quite as deadly, but I'm sure they capture their food. The blue browsers. Okay. I wonder if the blue browsers are the blue catfish and the blue goatfish. That's what it says. Blue catfish. It's got whiskers. Maybe that's why they call it catfish. The blue goat. Fish. Goat. 
Let's read. The Blue Browsers. Fish that lurk on the dark bottoms of rivers and oceans need more than eyes to find food. It's very dark. For this job, blue catfish have special feelers called barbells. Four pairs of barbells stick out from the fish's nose, jaw, and chin. Oh, how big do these things look? They look like whiskers, but they're barbells. Ooh, I bet they're much more pokey than whiskers. While the eyes of this scary looking creature are watching out for enemies, its barbells sweep the river bottom, feeling for a tasty meal of fish. Ooh, I see how they're mostly on the bottom. I got a couple up there, but so they just go near the bottom and kind of scrape them up. Mm. Catfish aren't the only fish that use barbells to feel their way around. Ocean species such as the hairy blenny and arctic cod also have barbells. Blue goatfish have two long ribbon-like barbells hanging down from below their jaw. When they're not using them to find food, they tuck them away back under their chin. I think we can't see them on the goatfish. I think they're tucked in there. I still don't know why they're called goatfish. Let me just look that up. There we go. Ooh, bird bristles and winning whiskers. Bird bristles with an owlet nightjar. Some interesting words. And of course, we've got the harbor seal here. Ooh, these are gonna be good. Bird bristles. Some birds have bristles for feeling and trapping insects at night. The owlet nightjar is a nocturnal species that lives in Australia. Ooh, I think it stays up all night, nocturnal. The elaborate feelers around its beak are actually special feathers called semi-bristles. They help the bird find and scoop up insects as it flies through the air. There are those things up there. I think that's them. You don't have to go. F you don't have to go as far as Australia to find birds with bristles. The whip poor will is a type of night jar that lives in southern Canada. Oh, that's where we live. It uses its bristles to feel and trap insects. The whip poor will. Whip poor will. Hmm. Oh, and a harbor seal. Those people, they're so cute, hey? Yeah, let's see. Did you know that all mammals, except humans, use whiskers to feel with? Yeah, we don't really use whiskers. Yeah. Walruses and seals are animals that use their whiskers to feel along the bottom ocean bottom for crabs, mollusks, sea urchins, squid, and fish. When whiskers touch an object, thousands of nerve fibers under the skin tell the brain what the object feels like, how big it is, and what shape it is. Ooh. So what it feels like, how big or small, and what shape. Interesting. As you can see, being in touch with the environment is important for all living things. Now you have a feel for some of nature's fantastic feelers. Oh, there they are. I'm so sad when some of these stories end. I mean, that was an article. That was such good stuff. Oh, yeah. I guess that one was called a photo essay. Oh, I feel like I wish I could learn more. Well, maybe next book. You can read what the kids are learning there, too. But... Great stuff from collections. That's the end of Super Sentences collections. Looks like we're moving on to carving new frontiers. Ooh, carving. Could involve some wood. Hmm, could be interesting. I hope it's as good as Super Senses. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.